Welcome back to Wes Explains Best. Today we're doing a CUDA software worksheet tutorial, operations with complex numbers. So one of the things you need to understand about complex numbers is com a complex number is composed of a real number and some, uh, some sort of imaginary number. So here we have the real part, as they like to call it, very creative name, real part, and then the imaginary part. The imaginary part is just the two. Okay, so just the two is the imaginary part, but the reason why it's imaginary is because it has an imaginary, uh, imaginary number attached to it. So the imaginary number is i, and that is the square root of negative one. Normally we can't take the square roots of negative numbers, but uh, with using the variable uh, i, well it's not a variable, using the uh, designation i, we can take negative square roots. So operations with complex numbers, Essentially, we treat it like variables. So if we had 3 plus 2x minus x plus 4, we wouldn't be able to add the 3 and the 2x. What we could do the 2x minus x, we'd get 1x, and then 4 plus set, uh, 3 is 7, so we get 7 plus x here. It's very much in the same way as, the, uh, as these problems. So we have i, we have 6i, and this is going to equal 7i. So you just combine the i's together. Here we have the real part, 3 and four, and then we have the imaginary part. There's no other imaginary part, so this guy's gonna stay the same. The seven gets added, seven plus six i, there's our answer. Let's go to some harder ones, so maybe down here, real part, real part, real part. Eight plus three is 11, minus seven plus three i minus two i is one i. So then we have four plus one i is the same thing as i, and that's how we do that one. Okay, now we have some multiplication. This is good for us to practice. So let's do a hard one or a harder one. We're just gonna distribute here. So you distribute the four i just in the same way you would distribute something like this. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing here. You distribute and then you combine like terms. So we have negative eight i here and then we have negative 32 i and this is important. We can have an i squared. So for those that are not familiar, i squared is the same thing as the square root of negative one times the square root of negative one, which is just negative one. This is a very critical component of complex numbers and allows us to do a lot of different operations. So anytime you have a higher power of i, you need to simplify it. So we're gonna have negative eight i minus 32, and then this becomes, as we just showed, negative one. So negative eight i plus 32. Anytime you have a complex number, you want to rewrite it with the real part first. So 32 minus 8i, that's going to be our answer. Let's do one with multiplication of uh, binomials. So we have two complex numbers being multiplied together. We're just going to foil here. You don't necessarily have to do first, outside, inside, last. You can do last, outside, inside, first, also called loifing. Just so you know, you just need to make sure you get every combination. So you have 7 times negative 8. That gives us negative, whoops, not negative 8, negative 56. 7 times 3 is 21i. Then we have negative 6i times negative 8. This gives us positive 48i. And then we have negative 18i squared. Anytime you see i squared, a little alarm should be going off and know that you need to change that answer. So we have, let's simplify from here, negative 56, 21i plus 48i. That's going to give us 69i minus 18 times a negative one. This i squared becomes a negative one. Now, because we have negative 18 times negative one, it's gonna be positive 18. So essentially we have negative 56 plus 18. That's gonna give us, what is that? A 38, but negative. Negative 38 plus 69i, and there's our answer. So multiplying uh, complex numbers with binomials is basically the same as doing it with variables. So something like x plus three times x plus seven. It's the same process, you just FOIL. Um, let's maybe go to a more complicated one. All right, we'll end, we'll end with uh, this one right here. We'll do number 21. It's almost the same as 22. So for 22, just a quick heads up, I would FOIL two of these, like I would FOIL these, get your answer, and then essentially you're gonna FOIL again. Okay, so don't get too confused. You just FOIL two times, FOIL times two. Okay, so we're gonna do something similar here. I would recommend FOILing first and then multiply everything by six when we're done. So we get positive 28 minus 14i, 
positive, whoop, negative 24i, and then positive 12i squared. Don't forget, this is all times 6. Let me just double check that. Did that pretty quickly. Negative 14, negative 24. Okay, we're golden. Now, we had something that should raise an alarm. We have an i squared. That's going to turn it to a negative 1. So that's going to be 12 times a negative 1. That's going to give us a negative 12. 28 combined with negative 12, that should give us uh, 16 minus, and then we're going to have 38i. It's not i squared because we're not multiplying. We're just combining like terms here. We need to multiply all this by 6. So we have uh, 16 times 6. That's 32 times 3. That should give us 96. Okay, and I'm, I'm going to borrow a calculator. I'm going to cheat a little bit for this one. 38 times 6. 38 times 6 gives us 228. 228, and that's negative 16. I'm just going to double check my answer times 6. 96, okay. Don't forget your i. And then there's our final answer, okay? We multiplied the 6 at the end. We foiled first. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, this should allow you to do all these questions on this worksheet. Uh, until then, I'll see you next time. And be good, be kind, be true, be nice, and be honest. Have a great day.